speaker is um, Daniel Moyland. Uh, he has quite a, um, an involved title, Chair of the Mayor's Design Advisory Group and Advisor to the Mayor on Crossrail 2, GLA. So if you would step forward please and uh, give your input on the uh, Ark House project. Well, thank you very much. I'm here, as you might have gathered, on behalf of Boris. Boris very much wanted to come today, but he's actually in the Olympic Park unveiling the sculpture that marks the events that took place in New York those years ago. And um, I think he'd rather be here in some ways, because this appeals to his Grecian elements. Here you have a theatre out there, you have an amphitheatre, you can see, you can imagine people coming down into Harrow to watch performances of Sophocles and Aeschylus and Euripides and all these people here and this wonderful new space you've got and he's looking forward to that very much, probably in the original Greek, I think that's what he would, he would like to feel that you were going to be doing here, but when you weren't doing Greek drama, he'd also want to see people out enjoying themselves. And enjoying themselves partly to relax, but also with purpose, because during the now seven years that he's been there, he has spent a lot of time and attention, and money, I'm going to come to money in a moment, on doing what he can for outer London, for high streets, and for economic activity in outer London as well. Economic activity is not just about creating jobs or promoting shops, it's also about having a pleasant attractive environment which brings people to um, a town centre um, and so on. So we, GLA on behalf of the Mayor, have spent quite a lot of money in Harrow. I've been walking around with Councillor Ferry this morning looking at what you've done in St Anne's Road and, and round there and actually your thriving shopping centres and the fact that Harrow is busy and bustling even on a slightly dreary Tuesday morning. So I can't imagine what it's like um, at the busier times of the week. And you've got plans, you've got visions, and Boris has tried to help with those plans. We've, from the Outer London Fund, we've invested nearly £3 million in the various schemes that I've referred to, including a large amount of money here to create this wonderful park. And of course there's been match funding brought forward by the borough, and there have been collaborators from bids and from the local community, from the commercial sector as well. It's not just obviously the mayor, it's a partnership. But it's a partnership to great effect and what a transformation has been achieved from what was basically a piece of wasteland as I understand it, different uses, none of them very edifying, um, and now turned into what is nearly finished as a very beautiful <coughs> park. I have been given a list of people to thank for so long that if I start on it, I'm bound to leave somebody off and only cause offence. Though I think I should mention Adams and Sutherland as the architects of this um, very attractive, interesting and stimulating building. So it's great. Outer London has an enormous contribution to make to the economic vitality of the capital as a, home, as a whole and as a place where some of the many thousands of homes we need to accommodate a growing population can actually be built. What's happening here in Harrow is simply wonderful. Boris is thrilled about it, and we're very, very proud uh, to be able to say that we're part of it to some extent. I look forward to coming back when you're completely finished to those fantastic Greek dramas you're going to be performing in the amphitheatre uh, on a nice sunny day, but in the meantime I'm very happy personally to be part of this launch, so thank you very much for having me.